Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys another one of my Card Fight Vanguard Market Price Watch for August 2017. A couple cards have changed uh, price-wise pretty uh, substantially with the announcement of Set 12 and 13 for the Vanguard G-Series. Um, a lot of different support for clans as well, including Aqua Force, Angel Feathers, Neo Nectar, and a good amount of others. So... We're going to go ahead, we've got a lot of cards to go through, a very interesting, you know, uh, price increases in a lot of the cards. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, starting off, we have the Pulsar Tamer Lugal Ur. Uh, a lot of you, if you didn't know, uh, Gear Next's effect was almost officially revealed. They revealed it in the anime. I think we're going to get the full effect of the card very soon. Um, and its effect relies on a restanding ability for uh, use of Zodiac, uh, Zodiac Time Beasts. Uh, basically, uh, the effect allows you to put three Zodiac Time Beasts from your hand or field back to a deck for a restand. And I feel that, you know, Lugal Ur is just a very good card um, with that skill. Uh, being a Zodiac Time Beast and having the 11k power and the Time Leap effect, uh, this card's seen the increase to... $5, I think it was originally, you know, just a $1 card in all truthness, and to see it spike up like this, I do think that Divine Dragon Caper is pretty difficult to find now as well, so I can see that um, being the reason that this card would go up, because I can see it being a staple in the newly formed Gear Chronicle deck to come. Uh, same with Metal Pulsar Split Pegasus. This could be a good starting Vanguard, if not already being used, uh, for that fact alone. And the fact that from the G-Zone it has an ability giving Zodiac Time Beast plus 1,000 power. And we are getting some pretty good Zodiac Time Beasts in the upcoming set, including a Critical Trigger, which has a Put Into Soul plus 3 effect that specifically says it is a Zodiac Time Beast card. Um, $4, I think this is the... Uh, not just a little increase of what this card originally was. It's stuck around here, but it is going up, you know, a little bit on its way. So, um, if, like I said, a uh, good starter with that uh, put-back time uh, fact as well. It has the potential, like I said, if we, especially if we get more uh, pretty decent uh, Zodiac Time Beast cards. Uh, moving on, Angel Feathers were also announced support in set... Uh, 13, that's it, yep, GB13, and Gavrail uh, was confirmed. I think she is like one of the latest um, uh, grade threes from uh, Vanguard G that did not get a backup version of herself uh, quicker than, you know, she should have. I know Asha, Fenrir, uh, now Blademaster, Sherlero have all got them. Finally, Gavrail has also received one as well. So I'm sure a lot of fans will be happy for that. She was originally in the $18 to $20 range, spiked up almost $30. So if you have the Angel Feather deck, it's definitely going to shoot up because of that support. People are always crazy about the Angel Feather support, that's for sure. And same with Neo Nectar. Neo Nectar has support coming out in set 12. Uh, this is including Asha support and Musketeer support. The Musketeer support, though, hasn't really fluctuated too, too much yet. Uh, people, you know, have really been going for that Asha support. I know that uh, Ranunculus Asha had dropped down to 18 for a good while now, but the support announcement has shot it back up into the $30 range. Um, I'm sure, you know, a lot of you are not looking to move the deck, probably hold on to it to play with the new support, but if you're looking to pick these up, you know, for a place into this, at least $120 cash, I'd say try and wait till they go down a bit more. They probably will drop, um, you know, just a bit, but just give it that wait, and, you know, it shouldn't happen too, too long from now. Uh, right along with that, Asha's support is Tenacious Made in Noel. Try 3 Next was just such a good booster pack. It had so many cards that were worth value and they're usable. And this included pretty much all of the triple rares for that set. I think Shift Bullet for Gear Chronicle was the one exception uh, to that rule. I think it's like the one $1 card while all the other triple rares are at least $20. And you pull two triple rares in a uh, box. And I think it's one of the rare packs where the gen rares actually retained less value than the triple rares. This includes grade 2 cards like Noel, where she is minimum $25 range. And I don't think she's ever been single digit. Maybe a couple days before um, pre-release where she, you know, people you know, really underestimated her abilities. And she's definitely been shown popularity in the anime. I think she's Tokoha's like, number one grade 2 to use for the multiple attack effect, which is definite pressure if you can bloom power enough. Definite reason why this card sees this price range up. 
Uh, Son of Eternity, Amaterasu. This is probably one of the best G Guardians for Oracle Think Tank, and it is now seeing $20 range. I think it actually is one of the most expensive triple rares from We Are Trinity Dragon. $20, like I said, the best generic uh, G Guardian for Oracle Think Tank. $20 uh, can be used in Battle Sisters and, you know, Susano and whatever other support we were getting for this. It just sets up your hand. Easy shield power, soul power. Um, I don't think the pack is yet to be completely out of print, but like I said, just the risk of wanting to pull her um, is the reason alone for this card to be this price. Uh, Merciless Mutant Deity Dark Face is actually going up as well. This card is in the $36 price range. It used to be behind Obiterandis in value, but it shot up. I'm guessing um, just the fact that um, it has that trigger negation. I don't think Mega Colony has been confirmed support yet. I don't think they're in uh, set 13. Don't hold me to that. I could be wrong, but I want to say they're not. But yet, this card has shot up. If you have the Dark Faces and you're looking to move them, now's the best chance because that alone would be at least um, you know 140 for a placement of this card to move which is pretty awesome there so if you definitely have the dark faces and you're looking to move them now is your shot uh, blessed sparkle sandy bermuda support um, prismatic divas is wrapping up with its release people are building their bermuda decks blessed sparkle sandy is definitely one of the good g guardians for the deck with a plus five for every two cards in your hand very easy for this power up to go and it's just a counter blast one for the additional plus five it's not a counter blast to use this g guardian all you have to do is flip up another g guardian you can use it 14 dollars. i think it's one of the most priciest cards in the revival collection set not revival collection fires collection set um, and it's just a triple rare. It's not a gen rare, so it might be a little easier to pull, but I know that um, the ratios for the Fighters collections are off, so the chances of you pulling a Sandy out of a box aren't that good. If you want the Sandy, don't buy a box and hoping to pull one. Just buy the card itself. Most of the time, I only see one or two of this card anyway being played, but it definitely shot up there, so if you... I still need it. I'd pick it up now because I don't see this card going down too, too much soon. But since I said this is one of those type of packs where uh, the cards are in short supply. Uh, Flatulent Messiah. This card is also shooting up. I remember it being in the single uh, digit rain, maybe $10, $11, but now it's seeing $20 range. Link Joker was announced a uh, extra booster and a trial deck, and this is the one card I can see not being reprinted in that set. I've seen uh, confirms for Arrestor Messiah and a bunch of other cards, but I haven't seen this card. So if this might be the one of that doesn't get a reprint, but you'll definitely need for the deck just for its soul, uh, uh, standalone first stride Omega Lock Power. And Perfect Performance Angie. This card dropped to the $25 range a little bit after the official release of Prismatic Divas. It's shooting up though. The card's really good, especially with what we just talked about before and the Link Joker support. Um, Angie can move lock units, so for Bermuda players, this is a must have card when you're going to be going up against the Link Joker meta. Uh, $40 range. Pretty standard for most of the G, uh, the Gen Rares for Bermuda. Uh, Olivia stayed in this price range until she got her reprints for a good while. I think Loris is the one exception, but I can see Angie staying there. She's pretty much, um, you know, staple stride like Olivia was. Loris just had the Harmony Plus power going for her, which wasn't as needed in the deck. But this, like I said, has the um, dry check plus one effect, which is always good for units. And it's the generic. It doesn't need a copy of itself to flip. So you can run multiples of her and not have to rely on flipping her for her own effect. And like I said, that move ability is just way too good to pass up. Uh, original Deleter or Igor, we're going off of Link Joker support once again, just jumping up for hype. And Deleters are confirmed for support in this set, so obviously the hardest card to pull would go the one to move up the highest in price, which is the Gen Rare Stride win condition card for Deleters. If this gets an easy uh, pass, um, you know, with the upcoming support, where you can just achieve this bind zone even quicker, that's going to be crazy. This card might even, you know, have to be nerfed in some way if people can meet win conditions that easily. The same with the Glendio support, which, yeah, we have, you know, confirmed Glendio support. That stuff hasn't shot up yet, but if they can find a way to make that even more playable, I can definitely see that being a plausible factor. 
Uh, Voltage Horn Dragon. We are getting Narukami support in set 12 as well. So this card shot up as well as Vanquisher and Dragon Dancer Anastasia. All the generic support for this deck has, you know, increased substantially, which I do see, you know, it will drop. As soon as set comes out and the hype for the deck dies, it will drop. If you want to move your Narukami support, move it now. It's probably going to, you know, have one more small spike, but then drop again. If you want more time to move these cards, do it now is your best bet. Uh, we're wrapping up here. Got a couple double rares left to go through. Steam Tamer Arca, the Zodiac Time Beast Perfect Guard from uh, Trinext. I think it is one of the most expensive double rares from that set. It is seeing a $13 card range just for the recyclability, which is very good in a lot of decks. People like recycling Perfect Guards now more than they actually like countercharging. They like to have the resources in their hand. So this is a definite reason why this card has shot up in price. And it will probably stick around there like I said at the beginning of the video for that uh, zoo, uh, about say Zodiac, Zodiac Time Beast support um, so if you need the Arcas pick them up now the deck, like I said the pack is out of print so it will be more difficult to find if these cards sell out and lastly, we have Hand in Hand Leona, the uh, probably one of the best G Guardians for Bermuda. It's a double rare. It was easy to achieve at the time of release. This card, seeing around a ten dollar range, uh, like I said, it's just too good. You should run it in all your Bermuda decks for the bounce plus shield effect. Uh, pretty much generic support there, and I think Blessings of Diva is a little difficult to find. Um, it's not like the other perfect guards where they just have that plus five effect going from. This is an actual bounce back, possibly, you know, bouncing a grade three from your field back to your hand used for stride power. And just that extra shield, you know, and the call with this card is a superior call. So you can go around, you know, uh, cards that stop um, guard restrictions from the hand since it is a superior call to the guard strip. This card is good overall, and the price increase is deserving of this card. It is definitely worth that value. But yeah, that is it for the uh, Market Price Watch for August. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.